Justice for Our Lives project is a series of portraits of people who have been killed by police. I feel that it's my responsibility as an artist to make these names popular so that people never forget their stories. I started this project in 2014 after the annual visual for Oscar Grant at the Fruitvale BART station. I came home heavily inspired to produce a portrait of his and put it out on social media. Ultimately, I had a project that now has lasted for three years. I'm a self-taught artist and originally from Los Angeles. I remember when I moved out here, there was a lot of protests that were happening out here in Oakland. That's something that I didn't really see in LA at the time. It heavily influenced me to do artwork related to the communities and social justice. Whenever possible, I try to contact the families of the victims prior to working on a design. It's a very emotional circumstance for them to be going through. There's reasoning behind the simplicity of my images and the black and white palette. I offer these images as templates. When people around the country took note of that, I then started seeing them in New York, in San Antonio, Arizona, Chicago. I also saw people use them in Paris, France. Part of this project is me going out to the streets and doing wheat pacing, bringing out the art out to the streets, right? Hello, everybody. Thank you very much for joining my presentation slash wheat pacing demo. You're invited to choose one of these posters and then do your own wheat pasting onto these boards that you can then take home. Choose someone whose case you're aware of or maybe someone that you're not aware of. Research it so you can learn more about that case. This is not necessarily a project that I enjoy. The amount of portraits that I've created so far is just a mere fraction of the total number of people that are killed by police every year. It's nothing compared to how much of a crisis this issue really is. I consider my project to just be a contribution to end police killing unarmed people and getting away with it.